In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at how we can sort a JavaScript array. We're going to take a look at the, defa at the default sorting as well as how we can uh, apply our own custom sort function. And then finally, we'll take a look at how we can actually reverse the order of an array. So let's go ahead and get started here. We'll create ourselves an array of colors. So we have red, blue, yellow, uh, green, and we'll say black. So there's our array of colors. So we can come in here and we can say console.dir colors and we're going to see that when we reload this page we get our array and we have our colors. Now we can actually just call the sort function on this array and this will not only sort the array but it will also return the sorted array. So if I reload this and I expand this out again we'll see that now our items are have been sorted in uh, alphabetical order. So if this was uh, number values they would be sorted in number order um, or in the case of string values sorted in alphabetical order. So now we can also call the reverse function. So we've sorted it but now we actually want to reverse the order so that we um, have like an order by descending. So we call the reverse function and if we reload the page and expand out our list of items we'll see that now it has been sorted in reverse order. So sort puts things in a certain order and reverse takes whatever your array is and actually reverses the order of it. So for example, if we had called reverse on the unsorted array like this, we'll see that black will actually end up being our first color with red being the last. Uh, black, green, yellow, blue, and red. And if we look here, black, green, yellow, blue, and red. So the final thing we want to take a look at is how we can actually do a custom sort uh, function. This is uh, most useful when sorting uh, objects in an array. So let's go ahead and create another array here called cars. And we will have our array here. And then we'll say the color of the car is going to be red. And we'll say that the, um, the size of the car is going to be uh, full size. And then we'll say color blue. And we'll say the size will be compact. And we'll add another car call with the color of, um, let's see, white. And we'll say the size is midsize. And then finally, we'll add another car with a color of blue. Um, but the size this time will be uh, full size. There we go. There's our array. We'll put commas here at the end. Just like that. And now down here we'll reference our new array and we'll say cars. And so now we can go back to our web browser, reload, and we we'll see that we have an array of four cars. So it's in the same order that we initialized it with. So now let's go ahead and apply a custom sort function. So we call sort as normal, but this time we pass into it a custom sort function. And all this is going to do is just basically compare the two things that we want to compare and then just using a simple uh, comparison result, sort the order of the list. So I'll just do a return a.color. We'll say b.color. All right, now I should be able to run this, and we're going to sort our list by color. So if you look at our list now, it goes red, blue, white, blue. And if we come back and reload this, oh, looks like we're missing a semicolon here. And in fact, we're actually missing a parentheses. Reload, there's our array. And now we'll see that our color here is blue. Our color here is blue. Then we have red and then we have white. So now we're sorting by color. So now what if I wanted to sort by size? 
I could come in here and say size, size, and now it's going to sort by size. So we see here compact, full size, full size, and we have midsize. And of course I can come in here and after doing my sort I can say reverse and I can reverse the list. So now we're going to sort by size again, but now we have mid-size, full size. And notice it's sorting it by alphabetical order. It's not actually sorting it by, you know, full size versus a mid-size versus a compact. We'd have to, um, you know, create like a size value and then sort by that size value. This is actually just sorting by the actual, you know, the actual name of the size, actual value, the string value of the size. Okay, so this is a demonstration of how we have the ability to sort a JavaScript array, utilize a custom function when sorting an array, and then how to actually reverse the order of items in an array.